What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another um, episode of Flicking Up My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guy host, Miss DC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general VM for the sign of Scorpio. Please understand this will not apply to every single Scorpio, as every single Scorpio is not going through the same situation. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Scorpio energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information to the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you. I will be talking to you guys with my Angel Romance Tarot deck as well as my Light Series Tarot deck. Um, for more information about me, all of my information will be in the description box below. Without further ado, Scorpio, I'm talking to you. Woo-wee. I feel weird. Matter of fact, I was getting ready to do this. Let me do this first. I was shuffling the deck and then this bottom card fell out. And so I took this one off the top. You deserve love. You are lovable. Keep an open mind. Your, soul, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. That's already weird for me. Just This is like a googly reading and Scorpios are not really googly. It's like a cute little googly. That was real cute kind of energy. You deserve love. You are lovable and keep an open mind. Somebody's going to be different than your usual type. Okay. Let's see. What do, what do you got going on, Scorpio? Y'all have going on. Let's see. My daughter got to get up in a little bit. Y'all got some kids. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. <laughs> All right. So I feel like you in your power. You feel good. You look good. You are lovable. You know, you dress real nice. You keep yourself clean and together. You know what I'm saying? possibly got your ducks in order but thinking about making a decision on something or possibly someone um i see orange red peach ish kind of colors um like a cool breeze like if you're a temperature you're 74 out you know what i'm saying you dress nice, look nice, probably got a nice little beard or something, dark skin, short hair. Ooh, you look good. But you're making a decision on something or you're trying to figure something out. And I feel like it's a person, but the person that you're looking at is like upside down or just somebody that's just, I don't really know how to explain this. Slowly but surely, you want to progress with this person, I feel like, but you and this person are like completely opposite. I feel like you and you're making a decision on somebody that's completely opposite of you. And slowly but surely, it's like slowly but so I feel like you want to feel one particular type of way, but then you don't. This is like weird. It's like you're having a hard time deciding something, but it's like, I want it, but then it's like, well, fuck it. No, I don't. I want it, but no, I don't. Like you're thinking that you're looking at somebody, but it's like you're looking away at the, it's like you look at somebody and you want to progress, but then it's like you look away. Hmm. Your intuition, you're not using it, I feel like, or an idea that you have, you're not trying to, it's like your eyes are closed to it and it's throwing your energy off, I feel like. I feel like you're showing people that you're one way, but really you're an emotional wreck on the inside, but you're showing people that you're not, you're showing people that you cool, you chill, you don't have no issues or nothing, but deep down, like you're an, an emotional wreck. And I feel like you're trying to make a decision and you're having, it's very hard for you to make like your intuition, but your intuition is blocked. It's like, you're so angry. I feel like you're angry towards somebody. You're, it's like you're angry at them for no reason.
it's like I feel like you're fighting. I feel like there is someone that there's somebody that you possibly have a child with. And I feel like you have to make a decision. And it's like you want to hurt. I feel like you want to hurt somebody for no reason. Like you're mad internally. You're mad. I feel like you're mad at somebody internally and you want to hurt them. But it's like, you know, at the, you know, somewhere deep down that you love them or you want to love them. This is like deep. I feel like you're running towards something aggressively, impulsively. You're running towards trying to get to a better place, I feel like, being a little bit more stable. And you're trying to grow out of, I feel like you're trying to grow out of being an asshole. I feel like you know you're an asshole and I feel like deep down, you really want to try to move out of being that asshole. But at the same time, you're just so angry that it's like, fuck you, I want to hurt you. I know I don't, I know I shouldn't hurt you. And deep down, I love you, but I'm like, fuck you though. Like, it's a weird combination. This is scary. I feel like you feel backstabbed or betrayed by somebody or something. And it's like, they're running away with your money or they're running away with something they're getting away from you and you want to abandon the situation anyway mm. and you're stuck This is dreadful. Stuck not knowing what to do. It's like you you really want to hurt somebody. You want to hurt somebody you love, I feel like. You want to hurt somebody you love. That's crazy. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't do it, Scorpio. Ugh.